Hi. Today we're going to do a little tutorial uh, on how to paint these stone pencils, which were kindly sent to me by Spellcrow Studios. And they're actually my first, my first terrain that I'm making for myself, not as part of a commission. And uh, I gotta say they're really cool. So I'm gonna show you how to paint them. <laughs> oh well, at least how I paint them. So first of all here you can see close up what the walls will look like if you follow this tutorial. And we're gonna start with ashen grey as a base coat for all the stones. And while the ashen grey is still drying, you want to take a large brush, you, can, you don't even have to clean it, and you want to stipple on some stone vermin fur just to make sure that the stones have a bit of a varying color. And you want to repeat that process with dawn stone, but be advised, don't dry brush, just leave a bit of a wet paint on the brush and just stipple it on, make sure it's in isolated spots. Okay, next up we're gonna tackle the earth, and for that we're gonna take Gotha Brown, which is my favorite recipe for doing the classic heavy metal earth tone. So as you can see mine was a little thick, so I have to replace that soon. But you just want to take it straight out of the pot and put it all over the earth. And once you're done, you want to take a field tank green and splodge on a little on the stones just to add like a bit of a mossy feel and discoloration on the stones. Then you want to repeat that with Coelia Green Shade because uh, having just one tone might seem a little weird, so you want to do multiple. And finally, to shade it all after everything dried, you want to take Agrox Earth Shade and apply it heavily all over. You should use a shade brush, which is, as you can see with mine, a bit damaged because this will surely ruin it and I ruined something that's so good. Now be aware the amount of shade you're applying will cause it to dry for a very long time. Mine took at least 45 minutes. Once it's all dry you want to move on to dry brushing and for that we're gonna take Carrack Stone which we're gonna dry brush all over the earth not the stone because for stone we're gonna stay with a classic light grayish tone. Once you're done with that, we're gonna move on to the stone wall itself. For that, we're gonna take Dawn Stone again, which we're gonna dry brush heavily. So make sure it's dry on your brush, but not too dry. So you can have it paint over a little too. Once you're done with that, we're going to take up in the stratum gray and repeat the process, but this time be a bit more sparingly just to get the edges and not all of it. And that's mainly the painting. Now we're going to move on to the grass. And for that, we're going to take a small pot and add some PVA glue. You can see mine is a little tough to get out. <laughs> And once you get that, you're gonna add water to it. As you can see, which will make it thinner. So you mix it up, make sure it's a nice consistency, not too thin, not too thick. Then you should probably open your grass before, which I didn't. I'm just using the Citadel grass, but most will do. Just needs the right color. And then you wanna stip along spots where the grass is supposed to be. Be creative as you like with it. You can make it very spotty or very consistent. 
I went for a little more consistent actually, which I just prefer personally. Once you've applied all the glue, you then just simply put on the grass and wait a little, then dab it off. Once you're done, you should make sure that there is no grass in the, uh, on the stone because at least mine tends to stick a little on itself. So you can just take a dry brush, which is dry, make sure of that, and just gently go over and remove some of the excess grass. And there you have it, a painted up stone wall, which you can use in many different settings. And I'm gonna show you two examples, 40K and Walking Dead. the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much again to Spark from Inches who provided me with the walls and if you enjoyed it you could leave a like or maybe even subscribe. Uh, I also do have a Patreon if you want to support me but please by no means feel obligated to do so because I am just doing this as a hobby for now. I'm not trying to depend on it or anything. And you can check out my other videos. I did a kit bash video for classic green skin orcs and I did some old time reviews if you're into that sort of stuff. With that being said, until next time, keep hobbing.